Hey everyone, here's a question from ratios. The question is convert the following ratios to percentage and they have given two questions. The first one is 3 is to 4 and second one is 2 is to 3. Now let's see how to find out the percentage of these two questions. First one is 3 is to 4. Whenever we write down the ratio and we know that ratios can be written in a fractional form. So this will become 3 by 4. And once we have written in fractional form, we're going to find out the percentage. Now how to find out the percentage? You have to just multiply by 100. That's it. So this will be equal to multiply by 100 percentage. That's it. Whenever you have to find out the percentage, multiply the number by 100 percentage. That's 100 and the percentage sign will be there. That's it. And then reduce it. Now you can multiply these numbers and divide by 100, divide by 4 later or you can cancel the numbers. I'm going to cancel them. You can cancel 4 and 100 directly in 4 table. If you want to cancel this in 2 table, go ahead. You will get the same answer at the end. But you want to have a 2 steps extra. That's it. I'm going to cancel this in 4 table. 4 ones are 4. 4 25 is 100. Now in the numerator, I have a 2 numbers. 1 is 3 and 1 is 25. And the numerator just multiply them. So 3 into 25 is 75. So we'll get here 75 percentage. That's it. Simple question. Now in the second one, so we have 2 is to 3. Same thing. Ratios whenever we have given, write them in a fractional form. So this will become 2 by 3. And since we are finding out the percentage here, so multiply by 100. And then put the percentage symbol. That's it. Now you can cancel the numbers here. You can cancel 3 and 100. Though it's not completely divisible, you're going to get the answer in decimal. I know that 100 divided by 3 is 33.3333. The 3 keep on going. So I'm going to just take a two numbers after decimal. So 3 ones are 3. And this will be 33.33. So the three after decimal, the 3 uh, keeps on going. It's like a non-terminating. So you can just stop after 2 decimal or you can just write down only one number after decimal. It's completely on you. I'm going to just write down one number after decimal and then multiply the numbers. So it's 2 into 33.3. When you multiply, you will get here 66.6 .6 percentage. This is like I have converted this into a decimal. This answer is also correct. If you want to convert this into a mixed fraction, you can also convert this into mixed fraction because you are getting answer in decimal, it means it's a mixed fraction. You will get it like uh, 200 divided by 3 percentage and you can convert this into a mixed fraction, you can get the answer. That is another way of doing it. Or you can leave the answer here, These are also, this are also correct answer. So that's it, I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.